What's up, everybody? Good, um, I believe it's afternoon at this point. My hair looks weird. Light is shining through it. <laughs> Let's ignore that. All right, um, so this is going to be an edition of Mind-Blowing Facts. I almost set the phone down. I guess nobody wants to see up my nostrils. Um, Trying to keep this level here. All right, um, this is an edition of Mind-Blowing Facts, and today, this video should be pretty quick because uh, it's a baseball edition, which is uh, my favorite thing in the world, so I won't be, like, stumbling over numbers and figures and facts. Uh, we should be able to run right through this. But um, this morning, I put together, I think, the list of, uh, like, five of my favorite, like, just crazy baseball, like, statistical anomalies. And um, the last one's not statistical. It's, it's a name thing, and it, 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 it still blows my mind. Like, you'll see. But uh, anyways, let's get to this. First of all, um, the first um, um, mind-blowing fact is that Prince and Cecil Fielder, father and son, as you all know, finished their careers with exactly 319 homers, 319. And the crazy thing about it is Prince Fielder's career came to an end because of a neck injury. Like, he was with the Rangers, I believe, at the end of his career, and he had to retire because of his neck. So, like, fate basically forced him to have the same number of home runs as his father, which just blows my mind. And they didn't like, they were like, it's strange. They didn't talk for like, like over a decade, I think. And it's just crazy. Like, even though they were apart, the universe still kept them together in, in a, in a weird numerological way. All right. Um, the Gwyns, Tony, here's another father and son, Tony Gwynn, junior and senior, both had their first major league hit, uh, exactly 20 years apart, 20 years to the day, both doubles. This this one like I I I I I like like I know this is a fact, but I like I have to look it up every time because I just don't believe it. It, it. How do you do this? Like Chris Davis had four straight seasons where he hit exactly two forty seven, two four seven. Four straight years. These were full seasons. Crush Davis was a was the man. And even though he hit two forty seven all those years, he kept getting better and better every year. Like that dude was a weird ball player. I miss watching him hit dingers. Um. Okay, this one, um, this the, Tony Gwynn, I believe, is the smartest major league uh, hitter that that has ever existed, ever lived. He took hitting so seriously. They called him Captain Video, in addition to Mister Padre, because he was like the first guy that had a major league of uh, had a video room uh, with like a VCR and TV screens in his garage, and he'd like watch every single at bat he ever had, so he could learn from it and make sure he like if he struck out. He rarely struck out. Like, dude, like. Just look at look at how many strikeouts. Yeah, he never struck out 100 times. Never struck out 50 times, I don't think. But um, anyways, he faced three of the best hit uh, pitchers of all time: um, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and John Smoltz. Three best Braves pitchers of all time. Three of my favorite pitchers of all time, especially Maddox, Mad Dog. But um, here you go. Uh, he had 107 at bats against Greg. You know how many times he struck out? Zero. He had 105 at bats against Tom Glavin. How many times he struck out? Two. And uh, 75 uh, at bats against John Smoltz. Struck out one time. Like that. That is that is hitting intelligence. Like that. You've never seen anything like that again. And I, I feel so bad about Tony Gwynn, man, because that dude he was chewing tobacco and it it it, uh, it wound up taking his life. He lost his jaw. Got cancer. Like how could such a smart guy do something so stupid? But no, I just, 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 we just didn't know back then. But um. All right, uh, Kevin Pillar. This, this one's crazy. They're all crazy, but Kevin Pillar hit 278 in 2015, and it was like a perfectly balanced season. He had 278 in the first half, 278 in the second half, 278 against lefties, and 278 against righties. Not kidding. Look it up. And last but certainly not least, like this one just, like, it, 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 man, I can't believe this is real. Like I, I can't I, every like every morning I've been waking up looking at it. I can't believe it's real. There are two Max Muncy's in Major League Baseball. I made a video because I faced the other Max Muncy, the young Max Muncy, and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not Max Muncy. There are two Max Muncy spelled exactly the same: M A X M U N C Y. Both born on the same day, August 25th. Both drafted by the Oakland Athletics. Life is a trip. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to end the video. Uh, let me know what you think of these facts below. If you're, um, I mean, you got to be a baseball fan. You subscribe to this channel. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Share, please share some of your favorite uh, baseball facts and st statistical anomalies below. I'd love to hear them. Like, I love stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, have a good rest of your day and uh, take it easy.